Uh, I think uh, for any of us that are of an age where our parents are, are in that sort of um, red zone, um, where they're closer to the end of their life than the beginning, we want as much clarity as possible around wills and estates. Um, and um, I've been doing a lot of work on my, my mother's estate recently, um, just trying to make sure that everything is lined up as well as it could be. Um, and man, what a, what a tough thing to get through, especially when you're, uh, you're upset or emotional about things. There's all kinds of stuff to be filed and done, and everybody wants you to do it yesterday, and then they want you to wait for it, and ye gads. So I can see, looking at this act, what the problem was. Um, because the way the um, original uh, or the current text is, um, it's under um, the, the current um, section 8.1. It says, unless uh, ex otherwise expressly provided in this part or another, the part applies to wills made on or after the day the section comes into force. The former act continues in force as if unrepealed in respect to wills made under that act. In other words, before this comes in. Um, and the Wills Act, um, RSA 1955, uh, C-69 continues in force as if unrepealed in respect of wills made before July 1st, 1960. So basically, it, it, went, it applies, the, the act applies to when the will was actually um, made, I think, is what that's sort of saying. And then section two, which is the section that's being repealed here, is despite subsection one, which I just read, sections 26, to 30, 26 and 37 to 40 apply to wills or alterations of wills regardless of when the will or alteration was made. And I think that's what caused the problem. So now it's a bit clearer that despite the section one, which I already read through, um, these sections apply to a will or other writing, a marking or an obliteration, regardless of when the will, writing, marking, or obliteration was made, if the testator died after the coming into force of this section. And that's the clarification that we needed. So um, I, uh, I appreciate the, um, the minister carrying through and bringing this before the House. Um, it uh, was not appropriate to do through miscellaneous statutes. I'm very happy to have it come through the House. We get a chance to... Uh, uh, review it uh, more fully and, and see it in context and um, ask uh, questions and have it answered. Uh, having had an opportunity to go through this now and to look at all of those things, um, I have uh, no problem with what's being proposed here. Um, I think it's going to clarify things for which, as I said, I'm grateful. Um, anything that can make this process easier and less um, stressful. <laughs> given that it's already a stressful time, uh, is much appreciated. So uh, thank you to the Minister for carrying through. I'm more than happy to support this uh, in second reading. Any order.